So to add some of the templates that are available to your ePortfolio, it's pretty simple, but not always clear. So let's take a quick look on how to do that. If you go into your Digication account at College Unbound, you will go to whatever portfolio you have created and you will select it. Uh, and you might have different things across here as your different sections. Uh, and if you're looking to add one, it's, it's pretty simple. You come over to this little plus sign in the right corner. Once you select that, you're going to get a lot of things in right in right in front of you. But don't worry, uh, it's pretty easy. You just scroll down and you look at recently shared with me. And so what you're looking for is different types of templates. Um, in this case, you might be looking for the personal learning network or you might be looking for the personal learning plan. I'm going to select personal learning network. I'm going to select it. It's going to say right under it, you know, this is this is the information. Here's who's created it. Uh, yes, I want to use this template. I can also preview. So if I select preview, it will show me what that looks like. And I can scroll down. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. And over here, if I don't want to use it, I click the little X right here. And if I do want to use it, I select use this template. Um, and then it will ask me if... Um, what I might want to include it in, if I have a course I want to associate with, do I want to show it in the, in the directory, and I can leave those as they are and hit save settings and add. Notice it'll take a few seconds and then it will pop up and there we are, there's my PLN. If I want to do that again for another item, I can once again come down and maybe this time I'll earn the add the personal learning plan. Once again, gives me a sense of what it looks like, I'm not even going to preview it this time. I'm just going to say use this template. It's going to check, are you sure? I'm going to say absolutely. And ta-da, I now have that. So if I want to take a look at that, I can come on over and see what it looks like. Now, when it's time for me to add or edit stuff, this is where I can go in and over on the right-hand side with this little pencil icon, I can select that and now I can start to edit it. So hopefully that gives you a clear sense of how to add the different templates onto your portfolio. Uh, if not, as always, you're welcome to reach out and ask me for other questions. Thank you.